Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Ty Tuivasa and Alexander Volkov. well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. This is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Volkov is six years his senior. He is five inches taller. He will have a five inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 36 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexander Drago. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 15 wins, five losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia. Ty Bam Bam to And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? All right, so here we are back in London, England, as the UFC continues to make its presence felt here in the UK and the capacity crowd on hand as usual here tonight. When the UFC expanded, when the UFC started going all around the world and becoming a global sport, London was a target area. England was a target country so you understood how much the fans care about sport. You watch it in the football game. You watch it. You hear that? Football. You watch it in the way that they show up. The UFC approached this place. The UFC targeted England. We went there, and every time the fans have showed up. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Hard shots landing on both sides here. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, really using his reach. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh! Hand and knee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. So just over 20 total strikes have now connected for Ty Tuivasa. Oh, 
Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice punch there. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, a huge block. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Ooh. Takedown defense holds up. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Round two. Big body kick land. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give it the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. So we call on the fight stats here. 56 total strikes have now landed for Ty Tuivas. And landing half the shots tonight. 50% the accuracy rate against Alexander Bull. And he landed the right hand there. Volkov's shot there is blocked. Trying to double up on that jab. Ooh! And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Lands a big elbow there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the jump. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Ooh, what a punch. And they separate. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Volkov gets the takedown. Useful. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, big punch land. Single collar tie there. 
Ten minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Boy, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Just misses with the punch by Tui Vasa. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Whoa! Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, got him. That's a good right hand. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Volkov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, getting late in the fight. It has been all action to this point as we go down the wire. Could be anybody's fight. Anybody's fight. Both of these guys prepared very well for this competition, and it showed in such a tremendous fight. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. You go. Oh! You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. There it is. So he taps out oh, to man. the arm bar man. tonight. High level grappling there. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day. But hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 54 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Alexander Drago Volkov. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to finally finish by submission tonight. He did just that.